Congratulations on making the playoffs. Yeah, thanks. How so. much personal satisfaction did you get taking over a team that went three of seventeen at the All Star break and riding the ship and getting this team to the playoffs? Uh, well, I mean, this is a group effort by everybody. It goes back to you know each each season. It's a new season. It goes back to when we took off to Melbourne. So everybody who's been involved has been a part of the team reaching the playoffs. Um, I think everybody should be proud of that. It's a hard thing to do. And more importantly, it's an exciting thing because now you get to take the next step. You've earned the right to take the next step. So there's a lot of people that uh, do a lot of work uh, behind the scenes everywhere to try to help get the hockey team to the playoffs. So everybody should be proud of that. Yeah, you've been pretty impressed. angry on two separate occasions. Angry? Angry. I mean, yeah. The Calgary game and, and in Calgary, yeah, yeah. and then the other night. Was, and obviously, clinching the playoffs was the key tonight. But was there a little something extra in terms of payback for that Calgary stinker? No, I, I don't think so. I, we talked this morning, and you know they did some things very well in those two games, and we were not able to handle them. So I thought we uh, adjusted better to that tonight, for sure, against that specific opponent. And uh, we played a pretty good game. We got a little hairy at the end there for whatever reasons, but I thought we played a pretty good game start to finish. We had opportunities to probably put the game away, and we didn't do that. So, you know, we got tight, and we had to earn our way. Jim, how impressed are you with uh, Bill Thomas' um, short period? Yeah. Well, tonight, how much better is he going to get? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's great to see the puck go in for anybody. We were all excited for him for his first NHL goal. Now to get three and five games, um, you know, I don't know that that's going to keep up necessarily, but it's it's what he's doing beyond that, and uh, he's he's earned the coach's trust. He goes out there, he he works, he takes the body, he understands the game really well. I think to, so to see him score goals is is really a bonus, but uh, we'll take them for sure. Coach, over the next three games, what things would you like to see your team work on to get prepared to be ready for the postseason when it does start? Well. I, I still look at it as we're in a playoff race. Yes, we've, we've I guess, secured our spot in the playoffs, but uh, the next three games for me are still part of a playoff race. So, you know, I don't see us, um, you know, trying to adjust too much. We, we might add a couple things into our game a little bit in preparation for the playoffs, but we, we want to go out and play just good hockey. I know it's boring and it's, it's um, repetitive, but uh, to play good hockey is difficult to do. And so that's what will continue to be our goal. Earlier in the season, you made the comment that things happen in hockey, and it's how you respond. Mm -hmm. Was there a special message to the team heading into tonight about responding differently than the way they responded on Tuesday? Yeah, right. No, you know what? Um, I'll just go back and say this. Our team, we, we've had some poor games, some games I've been angry. And more than just two. You know, you only saw them. Dennis sees maybe more than I was mad. wasn't just two. But I will tell you this. I don't think it's been – two in a row and that's a real credit to the team and so uh, you know just even as the coaches we talked after the Anaheim game we were disappointed and we said you know what we're going to come back and play uh, the next game we know that we know that about our players we trust them we believe in them and they, they haven't let us down how strong is your uh, better leadership going into the postseason yeah very strong I mean you know uh, and I'll include Trevor Lewis and we've got three players in there that won the Stanley Cup with the LA Kings so um, that's hard to have a, 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 a you know players like that who have actually won have got to lift the cup. So it's such a hard thing to do. So those players, uh, when they speak or when they just sometimes just the way they act and carry themselves, that that spreads through the whole team. And as a coach, you're fortunate to have those kinds of people on you know as part of the team. What does RV bring to your power play? I, mean, I know you guys lean for a right shot there, but it's beyond that. Yeah, it is. In terms of Attitude in terms of versatility, kind of play him different places. Yeah. You know, just, just I guess his impact there with the extra man. Yeah. Well, the right shot, you named it first. That's that's really important. Um, and then the fact that, uh, you know, there's not many players that I've, you know, I've coached for a long time, well, you know, from junior all the way up, that like to score or be part of scoring as much as Arby. So there's that, there's the passion to score. Um, and not just him, of course he wants to, but just even if the, if the power play scores or even if his line scores. Uh, so that's always a good element uh, when you're trying when you're in a situation where you have an advantage. It's a scoring situation. So I think more than the skill and all the right shot and all the other things that he brings, I think just the passion to be to compete and want to get the job done is one of his greatest attributes. You know, so often think about net front guys as a cut kind of their guy yeah. that you park there, but he's very skilled in there. He too saw him set the screen tonight. He did a great screen. Yeah, yeah. Just, just kind yeah. Of 
what, what do you bring to this person? The guy can play on the wall, the guy can play high, and the yeah. guy who can play down the line. Oh, he's a shooter too. So he's, he's a, you know, he's a double, triple threat. Uh, because he can pass and shoot and not afraid to get in front of the goaltender as you saw tonight. And that was a, you know, I don't think he got an assist on that play, but that was just as valuable as anything else in that sequence on the goal. Jim, you see you're in the playoff race, but Kopi and Drew have logged a lot of minutes for you. Mm -hmm. like, is there a decision to be made with respect to how you use them the last three games of the season? Well, you know, those guys, uh, if they're playing, they want to play. That's, that's what I know about them. Uh, they play a lot of minutes, and, and they always want to play more. I know, I know that. So we're not we're not going to uh, try to manage anybody that way. We'll, we'll uh, be very cognizant of the bumps and bruises. That would be the only thing that would probably um, you know take somebody's minutes down would be if they're just not 100% healthy, um, and we just want to you know try to manage that a little bit. Otherwise, we're we're going to we're playing to win. We're playing to win. Circling back to the field for a second, uh, he was saying just now that. He's learned a lot, even in these five games, about his game, and he's identified a couple areas where he needs to improve. Mm -hmm. Is that him continuing to hold himself accountable, or is that coming from conversations, perhaps, from the coaching staff? No, I would probably say just adjusting to the league and seeing Akil is a very cerebral player. He's got really good hockey sense. Uh, he's worked his way here, so so he understands the game very well. So I would say that's more uh, him just seeing, you know, where are the where are the bigger challenges in the NHL from the AHL. And he'd be able to figure that out, you know, as quick as anybody. Um, you know, so I don't know what did he say what they were. I don't, I don't know if he. No, he didn't say what they were. So, good. Well, it's not scoring. That's the one thing we know for sure. <laughs> yeah, for now, yeah, it's a it's a hard league. I know a guy who used to score a lot and went away pretty quickly too.